So this is what you're gonna sound like when you unbox the Shure MB7 and you're like, yikes, is this what I paid so much money for? But don't worry, I got you, boo. Let me show you how you're gonna be sounding after this video. The Shure MB7 is an absolutely amazing microphone, but what if I told you that we could make this bad boy sound even better? So that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Spalder. I'm a full-time content creator, Twitch streamer, and videographer in South Africa. If we meet for the first time, I want to know what do you actually do full-time? Just a curious question that I have. I want to quickly state that this video is specifically for the USB version of this microphone. We're not going to be dabbling with the XLR version that gives you a lot more control, but the USB is freaking amazing as it is because it gives you access to the Shure app that you can download on your computer. So that's the first thing that we are going to do we're going to head on over to the website we're going to download this app and install it on our computer and this is going to allow us to eq the microphone to how we want to sound and how we have positioned the microphone be it far or close away so let's go and download that app so once you've downloaded installed and launched the app it's going to look a lot like this and I, funny enough, actually use the auto leveling with just a few tweaks. So for example, this is how far my microphone is between me and my computer monitor in front of me. I also have my microphone position set too far, even though it's close to me. I just find that for me personally, setting it too far allows it to pick me up and I can be close. I don't have to shout so much and it can pick up my tones. My tone I've set to neutral, but for example, this is what I'm gonna sound like if I select dark. So I'm currently speaking on a darker tone versus my natural tone, which is what I'm speaking on right now. But then you can also go to a more brighter and less bassier tone. But for me, I tend to keep it on natural because after this, I've installed an app inside my OBS or slobs that allows me to EQ this even more, giving me that bass that I actually want for my streams. But if you want to go on over to the manual settings, you can create a preset here and set your gain set your monitor mix, set your EQ, set your limiter. So for example, EQ, if you wanted to click on this, or if you want to click on a high pass, or if you want to add a limiter, if you want to compress things. But I tend to just stick to the auto leveling because I'm about to show you something pretty freaking amazing inside of OBS and slobs. And I just want you to know that from this point onwards, what we're going to apply to this microphone does not affect how you sound in game or inside of Discord. Those programs have their own compression systems. Okay, so the first thing you do is you're gonna hop on over into the Discord and navigate your way to the free stuff panel just here on the left. And if you scroll up just a little bit, you're gonna see this is what I use to do my audio EQing inside of OBS and Slobs. So you're gonna download that and install that, but don't worry about that. We're gonna get to that in just a little bit because right now we're gonna add some audio filters to this microphone inside of OBS and Slobs, which is gonna over layer what we have done with the Shure mode app okay so here we are inside of my OBS while I'm even recording to show you quickly how to do this so what you want to do is as you can see over here this microphone is picking me up as I'm speaking you want to right click and you want to go to filters and these are the exact filters that you are going to be adding you're going to be adding an expander and in the vs2 plugin my expander settings these are my settings so if you're wondering how you add this you just click on the plus icon and then you're gonna search for, or you click on expander over there. So these are my ratio, my threshold, my attack, my release, my output gain. If I switch on over to gate, this is my settings for that specifically. Just know that these settings will differ depending on how your voice is. Like you and me probably don't sound the same. You might sound a little bit different. Maybe you're female and very different. Um, then you're gonna have to maybe tweak and change a wee little bit. But remember, we just installed that VS2 plugin. So what you wanna do is go to your plus icon and add this over here, the VS2 plugin. And then it's gonna show this. So if I click, and then you're gonna have to come over here to the VS2, and then you're gonna click Marvel. So what you wanna do here is you wanna open in interface and then it's gonna give you this whole presets menu, which is freaking amazing. Now I always stick to bright and bassy. So if I activate that, that is what I sound like. For example, if I maybe switch to a bit more of a presence mode, this is what I'm gonna sound like sound bass removal, side bass removal is what I'm sounding like. If I wanna boost my mids, then this is what I sound like. If I wanna to go to lo-fi, then this is what I'm gonna sound like as lo-fi. If I wanna sound super bassy like Darth Vader, maybe I'll just click on ultra bass boosted. <laughs> and then I, I like to just stick to bright and bassy, but what you can do is tweak them and change them to your own liking. So for example, if you come in here and you're just clicking around just to kind of see what you're sounding like, 
you see that is exactly what you're going to be sounding like but let me let me actually switch back to my bright and bassy over here walla bing walla bang you must be sounding absolutely amazing now now if you're looking for a really great boom arm that you can attach this to there's a video that's going to come up right on the screen just about over here which you can head on over to it's the Algato low profile mic arm which is freaking absolutely amazing especially comboed with this heavy duty microphone so i'll see you guys in that video